readers. Uh, I am a big, big audiobook listener. I love audiobooks. And uh, over my time listening to audiobooks, I have uh, acquired some favorite audiobook narrators. Some of these um, I listen to series narrated by them. So they've become a favorite narrator. Or some of them I've heard this narrator narrate multiple books. And so they've become a favorite. Um, so the first one is Juliette Stevenson. She is a British actress, and I the first my first experience with Juliet Stevenson. Um, I can't remember which I watched. I guess I watched the 1995 Emma with Gwyneth Paltrow, and she plays Mrs. Elton in that. Um, but then also she is Keira Knightley's mother in Bend It Like Beckham. Um, so throwback there. Uh, but she has this really beautiful. Um, I do not like really high pitched female voices to be audiobook narrators. I like there to be this sort of gravelly, almost quality to them. Um, the high-pitched ones just get on my nerves. And there's a narrator to Barbara Pym's books. I got so excited when I saw some Barbara Pym audiobooks on Hoopla. Cannot stand the narrator. She is so breathy. So Julia Stevenson has this really great gravelly quality to her to her voice. And I have said before, too, that I think the woman who plays Madame Hooch in the Harry Potter movies should be an audio audiobook narrator. She has a great voice. So anyway, back to Juliet Stevenson. Um, I have only heard her in a couple audiobooks, but I have loved them so much. I would love to hear her narrate more audiobooks. So firstly is Middlemarch. I love her narration of Middlemarch. It is just so beautiful and um, comforting and just the voices she does for the more working class people are fabulous. And then Jane Eyre. Uh, so much atmosphere and ambiance and just she is the voice of Jane to me. I love her, her narration of Jane Eyre. Next on the list is Penelope Keith. And Penelope Keith is one of my favorite narrators simply because two words, Agatha Raisin. She is the narrator of the Agatha Raisin series and I adore her um, her in intonations and just the way that she has this really kind of, they feel very pleasant and calming, but snarky at the same time because that's, you know, the character of Agatha. Highly recommend Penelope Keith's narration of the Agatha Raisin series. Uh, then speaking of female voices with a gravelly quality, Lindy Nettleton is my next narrator and I have heard her narrate two um, series now. The um, M.C. Beaton's Regency Romances. Um, I think the series I'm listening to now is the Love and Temptation series. Um, and then also the Inspector and Mrs. Jeffries series. And I just love her voice. And I highly recommend her narration of those two series. And she might do more than M.C. Beaton's Love and Temptation series. I'm not sure. I've just only, you know, only just at my toes in M.C. Beaton's Romances. Uh, then we have John... McDonnell, I think that's how you would say his name, and he narrated the Mitford series. He has recently passed away, which I know a lot of Mitford fans are really sad because he does such a great job. He has, it's more a southern twang. It's not really this thick accent, um, but he's really great at, um, you know, imitating the dialect and making it sound natural and organic, and he's just, um, incredibly uh, appealing to listen to and you just feel it's very warm and inviting. Um, then Jane Entwistle. Jane Entwistle narrates the Flavia De, Flavia De Luce books. Now I will say Jane Entwistle I think is kind of um, can be kind of divisive. I know some people really don't like her narration. They think it's just uh, kind of over the top. So she does have a very unique voice, but since it is for Flavia de Luce, I think it really, really works. She is someone with kind of a higher voice that I don't mind because it is, you know, supposed to be narrated by a child or she's she's 12 when the series starts. Um, and I think it works really well for that series. Uh, then Georgiana Sutton, she is, uh, her voice sounds very similar to Juliet Stevenson to the point that when I was first listening, I was double checking, is this not Juliet Stevenson? But it does sound slightly different. Again, that gravelly quality that I really like, just this really rich tone to her voice. I have heard her narrate Adam Bede. I've listened to that twice. Um, I've also heard her narrate Vanity Fair and just a really beautiful, beautiful narration. Even though, you know, I might not have enjoyed Vanity Fair as much, I enjoyed her narration. Uh, now, I did see on Audible, this is through Audible only, she has narrated all the Diary of a Provincial Lady books. So I would love, 
some time to splurge and hear her narration of those books. Uh, then George Goodall, I think is how you would say his name, he narrates the Longmire series by Craig Johnson and has this really rough, gruff uh, cowboy voice that he does for his narration. And it's perfect. It's just incredibly fitting for the Longmire series. And then Ralph Kasham narrated the Armand Gamache books until he passed away. So he narrated, I think it's the first 11 books in the series. And then I know that Gamache fans everywhere were sad because that to them was the voice of the series. And I have only read those books as audiobooks. They just work incredibly well. Um, so I was very sad to hear that he had passed away. The new narrator is good, but he's not Ralph Kasham. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased that I like the new narrator's voice enough to continue on. And then Orla Cassidy narrates the Maisie Dobbs books. I did look around on Audible and she does have a really big kind of catalog of books that she has narrated, but I have only heard um, the Maisie Dobbs narrations that she has done. The first few Maisie Dobbs books had a couple different narrators, but they settled on Orla Cassidy and I think she's just absolutely perfect for the Maisie Dobbs series and she is the voice of it to me. Now, um, a narrator I've only heard in one book and I checked on Audible and it looks like her catalog is not all that big, but Mary Beth Hurt is her name and she narrated The Witch of Blackbird Pond uh, by Elizabeth George Spear. And it was just the, oh, the best narration. I don't even know how to describe her voice, but it was just, uh, um, you should just go listen to a sample of The Witch of Blackbird Pond. I loved, there was a lot of sincerity in her voice, I guess. She just really sounded like the character, main character of Kit. Um, something about it just really grabbed me and I would love, love it if she did more narration. And then lastly, um, I'm counting this as a favorite author I've only heard in one book also, but I loved it so much and that is Nicholas Bolton. And I listened to his narration of David Copperfield. Now it could be that I have his voice tied up so much with my great experience of loving this, you know, actual story and plot of David Copperfield, but I just think he did a really wonderful job. Um, uh, just a little bit like Richard Armitage, I would say his voice is like. Um, and I, yeah, I highly recommend. And also I'm really excited because in um, in March, you saw on my TBR with patrons, I'm reading The Dead Secret by Wilkie Collins. And I saw that Nicholas Fulton in 2020 did a narration of it. Um, I was not that wild about the um, like narrator sample I had listened to before. So I was very excited to see a new narration pop up of The Dead Secret. So, cause I want to, you know, give that book a fair shot and not have a uh, audiobook narrator I wasn't wild about be the reason for me not liking it. So those are my favorite audiobook narrators. Let me know down below if you have some favorite audiobook narrators and I will be back for another video soon. Bye.